Hi guys, Miku here. Today I'm going to show you three of my favorite recipes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Today's recipes are vegetarian. They don't take too long and they are great if you are in a rush. We're going to start with a smoothie bowl for breakfast, which is going to be super filling and high in antioxidants. Then we're moving on to our lunch, and we're going to have a Thai-inspired curry, a masaman curry, and last but not least, our Mediterranean chickpea salad. So let's go. Okay guys, so our first meal, it's my favorite because it's breakfast and I love breakfast. And I'm going to show you how to make a smoothie bowl. Um, the secret of the smoothie bowls is keeping most of your fruits frozen. So what I do is I buy my fruits fresh, um, I chop them and then I freeze them in like little baggies, okay? Uh, the bananas are the only ones that I don't really freeze, uh, it's fine like that. So let me show you what we have here right now. These are jackfruit. I have to open it up and take out the pit. Uh, they're very high in calories, so they're gonna keep you satisfied for the rest of the day until your next meal, until, until lunch. Uh, we have strawberries, frozen strawberries. I bought them fresh, then I clean them and I freeze them. So the strawberries are a great antioxidant and we have pineapples here pineapples are a great source of vitamin C then we have a whole banana I like to use a ripe banana so I get a nice sweet flavor on my smoothies and it's a great source for potassium okay so we're going to get the pit out peel the banana and we're going to put everything into the blender okay now we have all the fruits here I want to talk to you about now the liquid that's going in we have coconut milk this is Thai coconut milk and we have some water now some of the fruits are frozen and we want a rich thick smoothie bowl so you have to be very careful with the amount of liquid that you put into this okay so we're going to start with a blend of half a cup of coconut milk and water and we'll blend it we'll see if it's thick or if it needs a little bit more liquid if it doesn't we'll add it okay guys so right now here I have a little bit over a half a cup um, of coconut milk and water I did a half and half and we're going to add this to the blender and we're going to blend Okay guys, so now this is in our beautiful bowl and we are going to add the toppings. We have granola, some goji berries, a little bit of almonds, and I like to sprinkle some of this flaxseed just as a fiber source, a little bit of cinnamon, and some raw good honey. Beautiful. Your smoothie ball is ready and it looks delicious. For lunch, we're going to make our own version of masaman curry. Inspired in Thai dishes, we're going to be changing some things around. Uh, one of the main ingredients is going to be masaman curry paste. This paste you might be able to find uh, at an Asian supermarket, maybe online. Um, or even at Trader Joe's. Uh, so look for Masaman curry. I'll be sure to write that down in the description. Next, we're going to need half an onion. I'm gonna cut this in half. One potato, medium-sized potato, it's okay. We're going to need tofu. Uh, this one, it's firm. If you prefer extra firm, you can get extra firm. We're going to have some cilantro for garnish. Uh, traditionally, on a masaman curry, peanuts are used, but I'm going to be changing that for almonds. If there is any nuts you prefer, then you can use your favorite. We're also going to be using one cup of coconut milk. This one is actually my favorite. It's called chao ko, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I'm not sure, but you can actually find this anywhere in any supermarket. Usually it comes in a can. Uh, just look for Thai coconut milk or coconut milk. Uh, we're also going to be adding a cup of water. So we're going to be slicing the onions on uh, thicker pieces just like this. 
Uh, if you prefer thinner, you can do thinner. So next we have the tofu. This tofu has been dried and it doesn't have a lot of water. You can use a towel like this uh, to uh, dry it, okay? And then you can put something heavy on top and just do that for like 30 minutes or so. Uh, this is going on a curry, so it doesn't really need to be too dry. Uh, so we're going to cut this in cubes, like this. Okay, next, the potato. So the potato is already cut, and I have my almonds here. I'm going to add one cup of coconut milk and then my curry paste. Now that we have all these beautiful ingredients ready, we have this half an onion slice, the tofu um, cut into cubes. We have the potatoes also, a half teaspoon of this rich paste. This is masaman paste. You can add more if you want to. Uh, we have one cup of coconut milk, a little bit of oil just to cook everything. You can use coconut oil or you can use uh, olive oil, okay? And then we have our almonds. We're going to put everything together in the pan. We're also going to be using some water later, so have water handy with you. So we add the oil and the next thing we want to do is cook this onions. You don't want the onions to get too soft, okay? Now we're cooking the onions on a medium heat. Uh, we're going to add the potatoes. And I like to add the curry uh, with the oil because that way the flavors wake up, okay? Then I can add the rest of the ingredients once. I cook this curry. Now we're going to be adding the tofu. And the tofu cooks pretty fast. So what we want to do here is now add the one cup of coconut milk. And we want to bring this to a simmer. And you also want to break that paste apart, um, making sure it's nicely blends in with the rest of that coconut milk. Add that one cup a little less than a cup, I think, of water, just so the potatoes can cook and can absorb this water and they have enough liquid to cook, okay? So this is what it looks like now with the coconut milk and the water added to it. So we want to let this simmer and we also want to cover this. I like to cover it just kind of like with a little bit of opening so it can, um, the heat can come out. Uh, and just give this about 10, 15 minutes uh, until the potatoes are cooked, soft, but not breaking apart. All right, guys, so our curry is ready. Uh, we're going to garnish with the almonds or any nuts, and we're going to add some of this cilantro. Uh, if you guys like to make your curry a little bit more liquidy or watery, um, you can add more water to it. I like mine very rich. Um, you can pair this beautiful dish with some rice, brown rice, or some quinoa. Otherwise, you can enjoy it like this is also pretty good for our Mediterranean chickpea salad. And we're going to need one cup of garbanzo beans or chickpeas. Uh, these I actually um, soaked and boiled. You're going to need half of a cucumber, one tomato, half an onion, just a little bit of cilantro, uh, one clove of garlic, some feta cheese, olive oil, pink sea salt or any sea salt that you prefer, and apple cider vinegar. We have uh, the tomatoes chopped up without the seeds, the cucumber without the seeds because they're a little bit bitter, um, also without the skin, or cilantro, onions, and chickpeas are now going to a bowl. We're going to toss everything in your serving bowl. So we're gonna add the one cup of chickpeas, that's a weird chickpea there, the onions, 
We're going to add the cucumber, the tomato, and our cilantro. And you're going to crumble some of this beautiful feta. For the dressing, we're going to smash this garlic. So garlic goes in a splash of olive oil, a little splash of apple cider vinegar, and salt to taste. From here, what we're going to do is mix everything in. So now we have the dressing ready, everything is mixed in, the olive oil, the apple cider vinegar, the garlic, and the salt. Drizzle that on top of your salad, and now it's time to toss it. So the salad is now ready. I hope you enjoy all the recipes I show you today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thewildguru.com. Thank you.